Hello, this is Board of Selectmen Chairman J.R. Colby uh, joining you today with Emergency Management Director Police Chief Michael Riley and Town Administrator Tracy Blaze with an update about uh, the COVID-19 situation in public safety in Newbury. Uh, would you like to kick it off, Chief? Sure. Um, obviously, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Um, the Emergency Management Agency for Newbury has been activated. Um, we are working cooperatively with the Department of Public Health, the CDC, um, working in a unified command situation, which means not only emergency management, but the players that are important in this type of situation are involved. So Deb Rogers, our Board of Health agent, is actually taking the lead and any decisions that are made from emergency management are made with consultation from Deb Rogers and Town Administrator Blaze, who is handling things on the town front. Um, this is a fluid situation. Things are changing daily, and we're getting updates daily. We're participating in numerous conference calls, and we're taking advice and counsel from Department of Public Health, the CDC, uh, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Uh, so as far as everything goes, follow all the protocols you've been hearing. I'm not going to repeat everything about the hand washing and the social distancing. Um, but follow all those protocols. You can go to the Town of Newbury website, uh, www.townofnewbury.org, or the Massachusetts uh, Emergency Management website, which is through mass.gov, and you can get to emergency management there. And right on the mass.gov website, there's a myriad of information about COVID-19, or the CDC website. Um, as far as our response goes, we are, getting information daily. We digest that information. We think about the, um, the results that would happen when we implement our policies um, town-wide. We, we have to think big picture in this. And um, we have also have to realize that this is an ongoing and it's gonna be a long-term situation. So uh, we take everything very seriously. We digest everything before we make a decision. And any decision made is made in conjunction with uh, the best best information available from uh, our, bo our board of health and health agent, our department, uh, Mass Department of Public Health, and the CDC. So, really, that's that's about it. Oh, one one of the things on emergency response. Um, our emergency responders, if you're calling in for a non-emergency situation, they will be asking specific COVID nineteen questions about flu like symptoms. Is there anybody in the house? Are you self quarantining? Um, that is to protect our responders from coming uh, in contact with somebody who may be exposed. Obviously, just like any workplace, we're very concerned about our employees and our staff. And uh, right now, knock on wood, uh, we're in very good shape. Uh, and we've been implementing all of the protocols. And I want to thank the townspeople. Uh, you, you guys have been fantastic. You, it's a difficult situation for everybody. You've taken it in stride. and. Um, just be prepared for the long haul. This is going to last a while longer. And um, if, obviously, if there's anything you need, any questions, you can reach me directly at the Newbury Police Station, 978-462-4440, extension 120. Um, or you can email me directly. And, you know, as far as emergency response goes, uh, when you dial, we'll still come. And the response might be a little bit different. We might be asking people to step out of their houses instead of, us going in the houses in non-emergency situations or if it's something we can handle via telephone we'll probably do that but uh, we will still provide full services to you. Uh, Tracy. Sure. Um, I'd like to provide you all with an update of our municipal operations um, but first I'd like to thank both Chairman Colby and Chief Riley for their leadership throughout this um, pandemic. Um, Deb Rogers has been amazing with issuing guidance for all of us. It has been the, the underlying factor in most of our decisions. Um, right now, our public offices are remaining closed. Our town hall, our uh, libraries, and the Council on Aging are, continue to be closed to the public. Everyone is working remotely. You can contact us via telephone, email, or through the, web, the town's website. Uh, most of town business can continue to be transacted through the website. Um, so certainly take advantage of that. Everything 
to date is, is moving um, as expected. We haven't experienced any slowdowns. We've been fortunate that our staff remains healthy and well and available to serve the public. We hope that that will continue um, as long as possible. So right now through May 4th, we will continue with the operations being um, conducted remotely. At that point in time, we'll consult um, with the team and make a determination as to um, when everything will be reopening and back to normal. Okay, and I also want to thank the citizens of Newbury. Um, the roads have been quiet. People have been sheltering as best they can. Uh, together we can flatten the curve um, and it's going to be tough. Um, I have a child, um, when everyone's stuck at home, you're out of work, you can get real bored. The temptation to be a little irresponsible, social distancing is there and it, it's tough and we're living it too. And I just thank everyone so much for your cooperation. If we work together, you know, we can help curb this thing. So I'll leave you with that message and uh, be safe. We will be diligent as your leaders and we're there for you. Thank you.